Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given rational equation for x, where these a, b, and c are positive constants. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here I have copied down this above equation right up here. And we will have to be a little bit creative in order to solve this given equation. Therefore, let me go ahead and tweak the right hand side. I can write 3 as 1 plus 1 plus 1, isn't it? And as you can see, I have replaced this 3 by 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now let's go ahead and move all these ones on the left hand side so we could have a 0 on the right hand side. So I'm going to move this 1 right up here. And this 1, I'm going to move it right over here next to that 1. And finally, 1 is going to go over here. So let's go ahead and write it down. x minus a minus b over c. And when we move this 1 over here, this becomes negative 1. And then let's write down this next one. x minus b minus c over a. And then when we move the next 1 over here, this becomes negative 1. And finally, plus x minus c minus a over b and this last one is going to move over here it becomes negative 1 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and put the brackets around these terms over here. So you can see right now over here likewise I am going to put across the board. And now in this step just focus on this part in this bracket. I have just copied it down over here. We have this fraction x minus a minus b over c minus 1. one could, we could make it a fraction as well by just putting 1 underneath. Let's go ahead and simplify this one. Let me show you an easy way to simplify this one by using a crisscross method. Let's cross multiply. Let's cross multiply this way and that way. So that is going to give us, when we multiply this times this, that's going to give us one time this is going to be x minus a minus b. And now we are going to multiply this part, negative 1 times c, that is going to become negative c divided by now we are going to multiply these denominators c times 1 is going to give us 1c that is same as a c so thus in the first bracket we can just replace this one by this simplified form i'm going to write down x minus a minus b minus c divided by c and still we're going to put a bracket plus and in the next bracket as you can see this part i have just copied it down over here and let's repeat the same process as we did in the previous one let's pick this one as one over one and let's simplify these two fractions by using a crisscross method cross multiply and once we cross multiply one times this is going to give us x minus b minus c and then negative one times a is going to be negative a divided by this denominator as we multiply them out one times a is going to be a so we can write in this second bracket we can replace it by this quantity x minus b minus c minus a divided by a plus and finally let's focus on this last bracket over here as you can see i have just copied it down right up here and let's go ahead and simplify this one we have x minus c minus a over b minus one and let's go ahead and make this one as a fraction as well 
by just putting a one underneath so we have a difference of two fractions and we're gonna repeat the same process we're gonna cross multiply to simplify these fractions let's go ahead and do that one so one time this is going to give us x minus c minus a and then minus one times b is going to be negative b divided by denominators one times b is going to be one b and now in the last bracket i am going to write down i'm going to replace this one by this simplified form x minus c minus a minus b divided by b equal to zero and let's go ahead and uh, write down x minus a minus b minus c divided by c and then let me go ahead and rearrange this part over here I can write this one as x minus a first and then minus b and then minus c divided by a plus likewise I am going to rearrange this part over here and I can write x minus a minus b minus c over b equal to zero now let's focus on all these numerators this part this and this they are same isn't it so we can go ahead and factor that thing out i'm gonna put down x minus a minus b i'm gonna bring it outside and inside this bracket is going to be one over c plus 1 over a plus 1 over b equal to 0 and now since these two factors they are multiplying and equal to 0 I can separate them I can split them I can write x minus a minus b minus c equal to 0 or this side this inside that bracket 1 over c plus 1 over a plus 1 over b equal to 0. Now let's focus on this part on the right hand side. We know that this is positive because a, b and c are positive. Therefore they cannot be equal to 0 so therefore we're going to rule out this part so this is the only we have got x minus a minus b minus c equal to zero let's go ahead and solve for x let's move these a b and c on the right hand side we got x equal to negative a become positive a plus positive b plus positive c so that's x equal to a plus b plus c is our solution. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.